Okay, here we have a thin film transmission problem. So the physics of it looks like this. We have beam A that just goes right through the material. And then the next beam we have to worry about bounces once and then goes through. Now there's another beam that goes up this way, but we don't really care about it. Okay, so these two beams diverge right here. That's where we're going to measure our phase shift from. Now. The phase shift for beam A is zero. It doesn't reflect, it only transmits, it doesn't travel any extra distance from this point. So there's nothing to do with beam A. With beam B, we've got two possible reflections. Now, looking at the problem, it says that light passes from air into oil and into water. Okay, now this boundary um, the index that, that this wave is in is greater than the index it's going into or that it reflects off of, so that first reflection phase shift is zero. The second reflection phase shift up here is again in a higher index, so that's also zero. Okay. Now the extra distance that it travels, right, we call this thickness T, the extra distance, the number of waves inside the film is 2t over the wavelength inside the film. So that's 2tn over lambda naught. That's how many waves are inside the film. Okay, now we need to find um, what wavelengths will strongly transmit. So what we're going to do is we're going to set delta b minus delta a equal to the condition of constructive interference, which is 0, 1, 2, 3 waves. Okay. We want to find um, visible light. We want to solve for the wavelength. We want to find which condition gives us a wavelength in the visible light. So let's start. Well, delta B minus delta A is just 2TN over lambda naught. Well, if we set that equal to zero, well, that gives us a, that's not a, you don't get a solution from that, right? You can't solve for the wavelength. The wavelength is basically infinity, and that doesn't do us any good. So let's try the next condition, which is 2tn over lambda naught equals 1. That gives us lambda naught is equal to 2tn. Okay. Now the n we're talking about is the index of the film, which is 1.45. So 2 times the thickness, the thickness t, is 540 nanometers. So 2 times 540 times 1.45 is 1,566 nanometers. Now that's outside the range of visible light, so we don't use that. Let's try another one. Let's try 2tn over lambda naught equals 2. That gives us lambda naught is equal to just tn. That's 783 nanometers, which is still outside the range of visible light, so we can't use that. Let's try 2tn over lambda naught equals 3. That gives us lambda naught is equal to 2tn over 3 which is 522 nanometers. That's a good one. That's in the range of visible light, so we can use that as one of our answers. If we try 2tn over lambda naught equals 4, we get lambda naught is equal to 2tn over 4, which is 392 nanometers, which is just barely outside of our range. That's no good. Now, if we keep going to 5 and 6 and 7, we're just going to keep getting wavelengths that are lower and lower and lower. So this is the only one here that's going to be a wavelength in visible light. That means we're done.